Hi my loves, welcome back. So today we are doing another get ready with me video. So I'm going to a wedding this afternoon as a guest and I wanted to try something, you know, a little bit girly and romantic and kind of peachy and pinky in nature. And it's a daytime afternoon sort of summer vibes wedding. So I didn't want anything that looked too done up or too structural but I do want something that can last me all day because obviously when you go to a wedding that's really important you know you need long wear makeup you need something fairly significant coverage because you're going to be taking a lot of photos all day so I've tried to make a look that's like quite nice amount of coverage but then also looks somewhat natural and sort of girl next door vibes. Given that the theme of the wedding is quite beachy and I would say a little bit more relaxed than most sort of formal weddings, I wanted to do a uh, bouncy big hair, you know, outdo rather than hair up. I think when I get invited to weddings that are like more cocktail or on the formal end, I tend to go for more like beautiful little romantic updos. But today I was more feeling these like bouncy little blown out waves and this girly, romantic, soft makeup look. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the look. Let's get right into it. So I'm going to be using my trusty little hot rollers today, which is super fun and actually really quite efficient. Now my hair is a little bit too short and blunt to do a good hot roller look. So I have got the darker hair going on, but I've gone and got myself matching um, extensions. So these are the same extensions that I've always had from Luxie, but in a few shades darker. So you can see the color is like a mix between a really dark brown and then some sort of chocolate highlights in there. And that blends perfectly with my current hair color. So I'm just gonna pop these in. So now these are all clipped in, I'm gonna go straight in with my hot rollers. What I like to do is get one of the biggest ones here and pop it straight in the fringe area. Wrap the hair towards the back and then roll it over the top of it. Here we go. Now I'm gonna take the section right behind that. Next one. And I'm gonna keep doing that in the center part of my hair all the way to the back like a little mohawk. So my whole middle section is done. I've gone all the way to the back at the bottom there, all in the same direction. And then what I do is the sides. And with these, I pretty much do the same thing over and over again as well. Wrap the hair around it and it's going in kind of like an upwards diagonal motion like that. With these side sections, I'm actually interchanging between the big hot rollers and some smaller versions as well, just to give a little bit of variety in the curl. Okay, so that's it. I've got all the hot rollers in there now. Essentially what you can see I've done is here in the center, I've made like a mohawk and I've just put them all in a line all curling towards the back. And then on the side here, I've interspersed some smaller pieces, like some smaller um, hot rollers with the big ones, and they're all rolling up and away from my face like that. So now I can just move on to face and makeup and outfit and everything, and right at the end before I'm about to head to the wedding, I'll take these out and I'll brush through it, and then I have like really nice bouncy waves going on. Now, normally with my complexion, I sort of tend to go for these colors, like I go for dark, earthy colors, lots of browns and stuff like that. But today I wanna lift it a little bit and go with like, look at these colors in these palettes, like peaches and pinks and stuff like that. And I think that's gonna look really nice at the wedding because it will just look sort of warm and friendly and romantic. So first thing I wanna do is prime. I'm using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Primer. I'm just gonna pop that all over my skin. It's really nice and hydrating and just makes your skin feel amazing. Okay, and next up I'm using Power Fabric by Giorgio Armani. I used this in my last tutorial as well. It's the uh, foundation that is very long wearing and also quite high coverage. But I have gone and got this in a shade that is a fair bit darker than my skin, purely because I don't wanna to do too much contouring or anything like that today. I'm gonna to keep it really fresh and easy and just do like a little blush cheek. And so I am putting this on my hand first and then onto a beauty blender, just because I don't want it to look too cakey today. 
I want the makeup to wear really well in daytime and then also as the sun sets you know rather than having cracks and too much coverage I think it's a good idea to just sort of tap it on. So as you can see I've only really done the outer parts of my face and now I'm going to take a little bit of this concealer here. It's the Bye Bye Under Eye by It Cosmetics in the color medium. Now this is quite a light concealer so I'm actually making like a little mix on my hand with this concealer and this foundation to lighten up the color of that a fair bit. And that's what I'm going to use towards the inner part of my face. Now I'm taking a touch more of that concealer and just with my fingers I'm going to pat that on the little dark circles under my eyes. Then I'm going to set the highlighted areas of my face with Bye Bye Pores. It's a translucent powder by It Cosmetics. And it literally gets rid of all your pores. Like when you put this over the top where you have pores or texture or anything like that, it is insane how smooth it looks. Okay, I'm picking up the 3.75 in the Benefit Brows, precisely my brow pencil, and I'm going to flick little upwards motions and I'm leaving the innermost part of my eyebrow because I'm going to switch into a lighter color for that one. So for the inner parts of my eyebrows, I'm picking up the Fenty Brow Pencil and this is the color Ash Brown. And I'm just going to carry on this little motion of starting at the bottom and flicking little hair-like strokes. Cool, cool. So now I'm taking my Benefit Cosmetics Brow Setter. This is just a clear gel. And I'm going to pop that in the center parts of my brows and kind of brush them like up and in this way okay so on the inner corners of my eye i'm going to pick up this color here this nice like ivory color it's called nookie rookie i'm just going to place that there next up i'm taking this beautiful pink color here from the fenty beauty palette number four it's called sleepover and i'm going to place that on the lid I'm then gonna warm this up a little bit with a peach color here. So this is the Fenty Beauty number five palette and I'm going in for the color I'm Peach. And I'm just going to warm this up around the crease. So now that I've got this little sunset going on on my eyes, I'm going to get this a bit more defined. So I'm gonna pick up this color here. It's called Spice Trip and I wanna lay this on my lids a little bit. And I am going in on pretty much my entire lid here. Just leaving out the tiny little bit in the corner that I highlighted originally, but I'm not being shy with it. So because I want to keep this look nice and soft, I don't want to go in with a proper eyeliner on top of my lids. So I'm going to pick up this even darker plum color here. It's in the number three Fenty palette. Woo! I know this looks like Fenty sponsored, but it's not. I just like got all these palettes and they're really nice and they don't irritate my eyes or anything like that. So I want to play around with all these new colors. So I'm just going to pick up this one here, the Shots Fired color, and I'm going to tap that where my eyeliner normally goes and kind of blend it into the lid a little bit. I don't want to use a black liner so I'm using this Victoria Beckham eyeliner pencil that is the color it's like a really deep kind of plum color as well so that looked really good on the waterline so I actually want to add a little bit to my lash line as well okay so I'm just warming up my face a fair bit with this hula bronzer just bringing that all the way around my hairline into my temples and I'm even kind of dragging the eyeshadow out a little bit and then also taking a little bit of bronzer under the bottom lip. Then I'm gonna blush my cheeks up a fair bit and I wanna get a really nice sort of peachy orange color. So I'm picking up this Tartlet palette here. It's called Toasted. Oh, <laughs> definitely not with a spoolie. I need to get like a small little brush because I want to go with this eyeshadow color. It's called Cashmere. And it's like a really pale orange. And I want to pop that directly on the apples of my cheeks. Then I'm taking this blush here by Colourpop called Frisky Business. It's really nice and light and pink. And I'm just going to dust that across the nose, across the inner parts of the cheek. 
So now I'm taking this Dior Backstage Glow Palette and I'm going to pick up the white highlight color and press that in the inner corners of my eyes. Okay, so this next part is obviously totally optional, but when I do little like cutesy daytime looks like this, I like to sometimes add a few fake freckles. So I've got this product here called Freck. And the reason I like that is because if you are wearing like full coverage and long wear foundation, which for a wedding is pretty essential, like you don't want anything too dewy. You want something to last you all day from day to night and throughout probably like hundreds of photos. So you want full coverage and you want long wear, but then also to make it look a little bit more casual and cutesy and daytimey, some freckles kind of help. And I'm gonna just do a few on the nose. You tap your beauty blender on it and then tap it in another spot. Now, you need to be aware that at the next spot where you tap it, it kind of leaves a little bit of residue. So you will be duplicating your little freckles. Now I'm gonna apply some setting spray before I do my mascara because, mm, I notice when I do this after mascara, it like re-wets my mascara and then if I blink, I blink my mascara everywhere. <laughs> While that setting spray is working, I am actually going to take these out. I think I've left them in a fair bit longer than I normally would, just because I'm like slower at doing all my makeup when I'm trying to talk to the camera and like do a tutorial than I normally would be. Normally I'm like, and I just power through it off. So I might be a bit poodly looking. And then not with a brush, but with a comb, I brush it through it and see how like bouncy it is. It all just... Woo! <laughs> so I just brush through it all and kind of shape the direction of the hair. To finish off the eyes, I'm not gonna go with falsies today. I kind of just feel like using, you know, your good old fashioned eyelash curler and mascara. This is my absolute favorite mascara at the moment. It's the Roller Lash Mascara from Benefit. And like, if you don't feel like wearing falsies but you still wanna glam look, these get you there. For the lips, I wanna keep it kind of casual and glossy, so I'm going to put on a little bit of this lip plumping gloss. It's so juicy by ColourPop, and it really has that like feeling of lip plumping. I really like it. And then on top of that, I'm going to tap a little bit of the KKW lipstick in the color Nude number no. two. Okay, so I think I'm done. I am ready for the wedding today. This is the final look. I think it's really kind of girl next door, daytime, you know, romantic vibes. Like I can just imagine myself running through a field of daffodils or something. <laughs> so let me know what you think about the makeup look today or the hair. Have you learned anything? If you do give them a go, absolutely tag me on Instagram. I would love to see your interpretations of them. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you want to see my upcoming videos because I know sometimes YouTube is a little bit buggy so the best way that you're going to ensure you're not going to miss our future uploads whether they're vlogs or house tours or travel videos or makeup and fashion stuff um, yeah the best thing is to hit the notification bell and then we can wake you up at 3am and let you know that our video's gone live <laughs> anyway I'll stop rambling and love you and leave you now and see you in the next video